There's a great feeling about being out on a golf course, spending a few hours with your friends as well. Probably looks quite odd, particularly to golf members, I think, who on earth are these people going around? The rules of foot golf are very similar to golf. The person that hits the least amount of shots over 18 rolls will win. The ball is a lot bigger. Obviously, we've got larger hole size. We tend to use the slightly more quirky, interesting areas of the golf course to put our holes. It probably looks hilarious to some people, but we take it pretty seriously. It's now around about 15 years old and began for a tournament in the Netherlands. I'm Neil Shave, president of the Foot Golf Association of Scotland. The sport's played by a lot of people who have got football backgrounds. Never played golf in my life. Never played golf, ever. I, I couldn't even tell you how to hold a club. My name is Callum Haig and I'm the current Scottish Open champion. Played football to an amateur level, but started to like beer and chocolate too much, so foot golf was perfect for me. It really has a large age range. One of our oldest tour players in his 60s and he's still going strong and, and winning the odd tournament. As soon as I started playing it, I loved it. As you get older, it's no easy to play football anymore. So it was a pleasure to find this sport. When I first played the sport, I was the kind of guy that just wanted to leather the ball as hard as I could. South Africa World Cup, the Jabalani football. That is the most sought after football for foot golf. Uh, it travels a lot further. Adidas have stopped making it now, which means the prices that people are paying for their foot golf balls can be upwards of to a thousand pounds. Everybody's buying balls at like 1,500 pounds, and like seven and 800 pounds is about average. And I thought, so I bought a 20 pound football, and just keep playing with them. There's a lot more technique to it than you might think. If your ball lands in a bunker, you can't run in that bunker, so you've got to do what's known as a standing kick, so your planted foot can't move. Oh, you touched the ball? Yeah, I touched the ball. Yeah. There's probably two main styles of putting. The more natural players will putt with their side foot, but other players stand completely straight onto the ball and actually putt with their toe. As somebody that's played football, that doesn't feel normal. I don't know how you get any control out of that, but probably the best players in the world all putt with their toe. It's very high standard. The guys I was playing against today, they're world class, they are. It's still got that friendly, relaxed atmosphere when you play the events, but there's a natural competitiveness to that. It's the people that I've met through foot golf that I would say was the best thing about it. My fiance, she'll tell you that it's the weirdest thing ever. It keeps me out of the house. I think it's just pure enjoyment of it. Even when you're hitting terrible shots, going in the water, into the bunkers, it's just great fun. 